Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this video is about analysing the locations in your family tree. My research goals for this are threefold. A general interest is where did my branches settle? Another focus is to figure out the connections with the trees of my DNA matches. Another research goal is to identify possible intermarriage. So what you're looking for here in your own tree is separate branches where there is a convergence in location, place names, and a period of time. So I'm going to use third-party software, and there are multiple options. I'm going to use a free software from my heritage. It's a download. I'll put a link in the description below, and it's called Family Tree Builder. You can do what I'm going to do in other software. The principles will be the same. Because I'm using a desktop application, I need to get my tree out of ancestry. If you have your tree in my heritage, then you don't have to do this step. I'm going to download my tree from ancestry as a getcom file. I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to import that file into Family Tree Builder. So that's the setup. We'll go very quickly to this, then we'll get to the good stuff. So this is the download page for Family Tree Builder on my heritage. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. So just download and install the software on your desktop. It's um, fairly straightforward. Once you've done that, I'm going to get my tree into a local Gentcom file. So suppose I'm working on this tree here. You need to go to the tree settings page. Just expand the menu below the tree name here. Go to tree settings. On the main page here, this is exactly where you want to be. Down here in the bottom right, you have the option here to export tree. Wait for the file to prepare. And eventually, you'll now get this option here to download your Getcom file. Click on download, and it you see down here, it comes down into the downloads folder on your home machine. This is my downloads folder. That's the tree, rather small tree that I just downloaded there as a demo. This is my larger tree, um, and I am going to use this one. So this is the MyHeritage Family Tree Builder. I'm going to import the Getcom file, my tree. I'm going to file, import getcom, and now I just need to find the actual file, and this is the one I'm going to use. Just click select, next, 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 demo location tree. And now it is importing. I'm just going to go straight to what I'm interested in, which is analyzing the locations. So up here on view, I'm going to view this item here, view places. And this gives me an index of place names with how many times they're listed. So if I look at this place name of Billis in Cavan, County Cavan in Ireland, I can see it's listed 27 times. I can also see straight away that there seems to be a very similar name below it with only one reference. I just double clicked it there and it's telling me who it is. I notice that I've got a misspelling here, which is straight away is the kind of thing that I want to know because I do want consistency in my tree. If I take a look at this place name here of Bindu Cavan Ireland, Bindu Tullivan Cavan Ireland, Binduff Cavan Ireland, I happen to know that those three places are the same place. It's it's the Gaelic variation here. Now the problem here is that I got three for five different references without consistency it's difficult to analyze all five people. And yes, it is spelled multiple variations through time on official documents. I want to group the people so I can analyze them together. I'll just keep scrolling down. I'm listing this these alphabetically, by the way, and it's the alphabetic list that is most likely to see where you will see slight errors. So I'm seeing here that I've left Ireland off a county, but no country. That's not really a good idea. I'm just going to scroll right down to the end, and I'm just going to show you a place that I really wasn't familiar with at all, Westfield. So what I've got entered is I've got this Westfield Union, New Jersey, USA. Westfield Union County, pretty sure, despite never having heard of this place, that these are the same place. Then I've got Westfield, NJ, Westfield, New Jersey, USA. Between one, two, three, four, between five locations is how I have entered them in my tree. I've actually got quite a significant number of people showing up. And it's less apparent because you can see that if these two split out, it's less apparent that I have this rather large congregation of one line or more in this particular place. Now, as I said, I've never heard of Westfield. So, you know, as far as I was concerned, it could be the same as having multiple lines in Brooklyn. 
But an, an internet search told me that it was about 30,000 in terms of population strong, which isn't that much. And therefore, it becomes quite interesting for me. What I need to do in my tree is standardize these four entries to a particular place. But I don't know which to pick because I'm not as familiar with the American standardized locations. And to be honest, when I was first looking at this, I kind of assumed that this was the standard location, Westfield Union County. But in order to double check, there's one particular simple way. So I'm on the Ancestry homepage. I'm going to pull up just the main search page, search all records. I'm going to pick any of the location fields, place your ancestor might have lived. And I'm going to type in Westfield and see what it's giving me. And I can see the second entry is Westfield, comma, Union, comma, New Jersey, USA, which is the standardized location. And just to verify, I'll just type in Union. And if I give it a space, uh, still wanting me to pick this, if I give it a C, a C yeah, it, just, it doesn't really want Union County. It wants Union, comma, New Jersey. So that is the standardized location. Well, as it, thankfully, it's actually got the most number of people. But for these 20 people or 20 events, I want to change this to that and similar for those, which is a little bit of a pain in the neck. It's certainly a pain in the neck in Ancestry if you're just using Ancestry's own inter tree interface. But I'll look at it in a different video as how I can do this all at once and synchronize up the changes. Why do I want to do that? Well, ultimately, the reason why I want to do that is right now I'm ordering this tree by the place name. But in order to look at interesting insights, what I want to do is I want to look at the trends of where did my ancestors live the most. And what I want to do is I want to order this not by place, but by references. So that's ordering it now by references. Scroll right up to the top. And here you can see place name statistics. What's surprising to me is these three entries here. So that's a particular great grandparent, another great grandparent, two great grandparents for this place. What surprised me was that our old pal Westfield Union, New Jersey, USA is turning up towards the top and not too far away is Westfield Union County. But between them, they are dwarfing New York. So that was a bit of an eye opener for me. And it just makes me put into my spreadsheet of research projects is that I need to take a much closer look at who ended up in Westfield Union. Thinking again of my goals here, where did my branches settle? <laughs> it's quite clear that Westfield is a place where a branch, at least one branch settled. But I'm also looking at connections with trees of DNA matches. Now I have a location hit list that I will throw into Ancestry Search when I'm looking at my DNA matches and my shared matches. And Westfield, Westfield, where was it? New Jersey wasn't in that hit list. What I'm talking about is doing research like this. If I go to my DNA match list and ancestry, if I click on search here, and in this search, I'm going to look for the birth location in matches trees. Now, that makes it sound, the way ancestry has phrased this, it sounds like it's the birth location of any person in a matches tree. I linked to another video where I demonstrated I was actually doing a test case study on the surnames and identified that that's not exactly what it does. What it does is it looks for the birth locations in, in the direct line. So anyway, I'll type in here, was it Westfield? I've already forgotten. Was it Union County or was it Union? Come on, that's, oh, here we go. It's just Union, New Jersey, USA. I'll search on that. That's a nice little collection of people with decent sized trees where this Westfield Union, New Jersey is going to show up. If I take the top match here and if I go into the tree, list of all people. Okay, so this is three pages, right? So again, I'm going to go, I've got Westfield there. It's not on the first page. Westfield. Ah, okay, it appears once. There we go. So we have Westfield Union, New Jersey, and this is an individual in that particular place and I can see Union popping up this New Jersey and there we have this O'Neill all New Jersey we're looking at 1900 the 1900s so what's interesting for me is I need to look at the, the date range that the people actually when they first start appearing in my tree in terms of the time frame and 
I can start looking at these trees in terms of their time frame. And of course, always on the basis, this is purely a hypothesis, that the link between this particular match and me is based around a common ancestor where descendants of that common ancestor appeared in Westfield Union, New Jersey. For this particular match, that may not be the case. We may be linked on a completely different line. It's simply a hypothesis to steer me towards investigation. It's simply, where do I launch my research? And similarly, if you're looking at shared matches, I've documented this or this kind of investigation in an article we put up on power tips for investigating your shared matches. And the concept of a location list is down here, make a location hit list for searching shared matches. And then my third research goal was I'm looking for intermarriage across different lines. So I end up having a particular shared, a particular DNA match where we're sharing DNA due to different lines. Once again, it's this particular view where I'm ranking the place by the count of events. Let me take this place, Drum Crave. What I'm looking for is I want to see two different lines pop up in the same place. And yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm seeing the Yongs. I know that particular line. And I'm seeing Fox. So here is James Fox. The wife is Rose Young. James is of Drum Crave. Married into the Young family, but I have another line of foxes. If I can tie James Fox back to a different branch where I have a, one common ancestor to his wife, Rose Young, of another common ancestor, then I've got an intermarriage across my branches. That would explain some of the shared matches that I'm seeing. But it's just a hypothesis. That is one line of inquiry. In terms of this places, this place ranking, you also get this in the paid version of Roots Magic in a Family Tree Maker, and I'm pretty sure a legacy. And in fact, I would say that most, if not all, of the of the well known Family Tree software will give you this particular view. The well known Family Tree software that that doesn't give you this particular view is Ancestry's own online tree interface, which you know isn't great for investigating locations. When I was talking about consistency, I did mention that I wanted, didn't want to go to all 20 entries for Westfield Union County and manually update them you know, by typing in or overtyping Westfield Union. I'll probably do another video on how to go about that using software. So hit subscribe and keep an eye out on our upcoming videos. And when I do do that particular video, I'll come back to this one and put a link in the description below as to, as to a follow on. Okay, hope that helps and best of luck with your research.